Let's take our seats. Father, glorify your name. O kama wewe chitiwa. May you come and dwell richly inside of us. Yango tule munda mufe. May we feel the warmth of your presence. Tulire okubera oko mukama. May you come and deal with the inner issues inside of us. Yango kole kubulichona ichutawanya munda mufe. Glorify your name in our lives. Erinyalo liwewe chitiwa mbula mwafe. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can give God the clap as we thank him. My name is Conrad Sande. That is his name. I serve as the administrator in the ministry. I thank God for the pastors who came this side before us. And I thank God for the pastors in Ginger whom we've co-worked with to make this success. May you clap for them for the coordination we've had. More so, Pastor Kaizi. Thank you so much for the radio programs. You've always surrendered for us. Amen. Amen. And all pastors in Jinja whom we've worked with and whom we are working with. Um, we thank God for today. And I know the Lord is going to do us good. Don't forget today's overnight. Whatever you've learned throughout the week. I know the Lord is going to give us the grace to pray in the night. Amen. Amen. You can also invite many other people to come and join us in prayer. We've learned, learned a lot. And we thank the Lord for the bishop. And we thank the Lord for the bishop. Together with all ministers from Inaman Ministries. What I know is that they've done us a lot of good. Let's try and put into action whatever we've learned. So that the Lord can take us from one level to a higher level. We've learned a lot concerning the inner wounds. Point of action. How do we deal with these wounds now that we discover they are? First is to accept that there is a problem. When you discover that there is a problem, what comes next? How do we deal with this problem? We've discovered that inside of us we are sick. We've discovered that we have wounds inside us. We've discovered that we've been hurt in many ways. We've discovered there is something missing in our lives. What next? Amen. 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 Even in the Bible, there are people that went through similar situations that we are in. And there are some things that they did. And they were able to move out of those situations and moved to better life. Amen. Amen. We are going to learn about the first person. That is our friend Yabes. Yabes Agamba. He says. Yazariwa Mubulumi. He was born in iniquity. In pain. Mubulumi. Even his own name. Depict that which he was. Ngalida Giradalecho Cheyali. Ngobulamwe Walibu Yinike. All his life was full of pain. And was a why Azariwene wafe mu Eastern. I don't know whether he was born this side of the east. For us of this side. We give names to our children according to the season at which they have been born. 
Oba okusinzira kungeri omuzade jauliramu. Sometimes according to the way the parent feels at that time. Wali wa abatu mamanya. There are those who have given their children names. Dikusoka. Dikusoka. I'm sorry for the Kusoka. I don't know. 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 I want to give it an example. If you're here, please don't mind. I'm just using it as an example. Some of these names depict what the parents are going through. It could be the pain. They are saying, let that kind of pain come before you grow up. That's how they finish the proverb. Some people are named Naku. Sorrow. Someone produces or gives birth to a child and gives them the name Naku, which means sorrow. It depends on the kind of life he's going through. God has given me the grace I've been born this side and so I know about many names. Sometimes I sit down and try to find out what's the meaning of some of these names that we are given. Some names are given to us according to the season, according to the situation that the parent is going through at that time. In First Chronicles chapter 4 and verse 9 Someone ready for us, Uganda? Thank you. In English he says Uh, First Chronicles 4, 9, 10. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast. And that thine hand might be with me, and that thy wouldn't keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Nina namu tume rinya ya bezi. Nga yogera nti kubanga na muzala luavu yinike. Ule kumi ya bezi na kabiri langa katonda wa isiraili. Nga yogera nti singa ompere dedalo mukisa no gazia ensalo zange. Era obango mukono kukuna wanga nange no mkumo butala babubi. Neme okurumwa omoyo katonda namu wache ya saba. Katonda kola chi namu wache ya saba. Remember, this one that God gives whatever he requested for was born in pain. So he grew up but in pain. Regardless of his surroundings. Regardless of his brethren. Much as he was born in sorrow. He was more Honorable than his brothers. Simply because he knew where to take his sorrow. He knew how to deal with his pain. He knew when to cry and whom to cry to. And the one who was sorrowful was more honorable than his brethren. Because he chose to add value in himself. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
I don't know what kind of pain or sorrow you're going through. I don't know how hard pressed that you are. But whenever you feel like crying, don't allow to, 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 to tears to run down your face without prayer. Please try your best. Even when you're in the toilet, please call upon him. He's the Lord who is everywhere. He's everywhere. He's everywhere in all places at all times. Even this one was born in pain. But now the Bible is telling us he's more honorable than his brothers. Even you in whatever situation you are. Don't worry. God is so much able to make you valuable and honorable among all the people in your family. Don't despise yourself. God knows why he has allowed you to go through such a situation. In my family, I'm the third born. Our parents died when we were still young. Even when we were young, we were young, we were young, we were young. Whatever you're speaking about, pain, going hungry, and whatever, it was our daily life. I grew up not knowing that someone could have food and have enough. We were surrounded by pain and sorrow. Jigas ate us. I first put on shoes when I'd gone senior one. The shoes were even oversized. They couldn't fit me. But when I went to I would put some papers in the shoes such that I could fit in them, but still I would walk in a funny style. But in such a situation, I called upon the Lord. Brethren, today, I can tell you with a lot of boldness, that God is so much able to change you and makes you much more honorable than all those other people that you think are more honorable than you. He is mighty God. He can do all things. When I read about the story of Jabez, and I compare it with my life, I consider him as a kind of brother because when they described the pain, it was a similar situation that I was going through when I was born. Many people ask me because that is the name I use, Conrad Sunday. But they ask, what is my, my name given to me by tribe? My family name. Sande Conard Olive Wanaku. Meaning with sorrow at the end. And when I got to primary two, the teacher asked me, What does Olive mean? What does wanaku mean? That's when I put aside those names. So I remained with Conard Sunday. If you start asking for Olivia Wanaku, even when you ask my wife, she does not know about that. Even when you ask the brothers that follow me, they don't know about that. I was fed up by that name. I hated that name, Wanaku. So when I grew up, 
Nazula nga mu family muli mu bawana kubanji. I discovered that there are many people that had that kind of name wanaku. Na henge embera za weza naku. And really their situations were sorrowful. The meaning of the name. And so I tried to tell them, please get born again. And they were just playing about with it. Today I want to let you know that in our family, if we are making a meeting, before I get there, they cannot begin the meeting. It's after I've come that the meeting will start. Why? Why does God make me more honorable in that family? Because I discovered when you discover who you are and where you're supposed to run and who you are supposed to call upon and who you are supposed to cry to and who you are supposed to pray to Praise the Lord. Even if you are so much in sorrow. Even if the situation is like it cannot go. Even if the people around you also despise you. Even if the poor also call you poor. Even if those in sorrow also call you more sorrowful. I want you to know who your God is. Who is your God? He's going to change the situation. And even today we are going to call upon him to change our situation. You cannot be under this ministry. And you discover up to where you are. And you remain the same. No, you cannot. Situation has to change. There is a, a curse that can be upon the family. A reproach. A reproach upon the family. When does the identity of your family? When the identity of the people? But once you discover who you are. God can roll away the reproach. He can take away the reproach. Oh. I've seen God in my life. I've seen God in the leaders around me. And what had come as reproach comes to a time and you can even laugh at it. A time comes and you don't even believe yourself. What looked like was too far away when God has brought his clothes. People used to appear as if they are very far away from you. And God brings them clothes. Once the reproach has been taken away from the family. We didn't go to school. At that time we don't go to school. If you went up to P7, that was the highest. Because in our sub county, there was no secondary school. There was only primary. Up so if you, move, if you started from P1 and reach P7, you would be considered wise and someone who has finished. And people, and people in P7 at that time would be okay to get married. It was normal. They would say if you had not gotten to P7 and then you marry or get married they would ask you why do you do so before getting to P7 so everybody would struggle no, so you would study no, to P7. such that you get to P7 and then you know now what comes next my God when my parents had passed away my head teacher took me up. He told me these words. 
Conrad, if I'm going to help you, first leave your home village. And I said, where do I go? The place I knew was Bujiri and the town I knew was Bujiri town. What would take us there was to watch films. And now you're telling me to leave my village and go where? Yangambo Mazepi seven Sagala Kulaba Mbujiri district Sagala Kulaba wano Gendo nonye somero Wala enyo ne chaloche wamwe He told me now you have finished primary seven I want you to leave Bujiri, leave this place Leave your home village Go and look for school Na far away from simanyi. here I didn't know Nti mukama alimukujiri ngise chivume Mufamile chie wafe kuchisulele mwenyanji That Lord was rolling away the reproach From our family and throw it into the waters Kuvanga ya subya diro yo HM Royampita because the day when the HM called me, there is a deal I missed. I had finished P7. And I also got a girl to marry. I also built my small heart. And I also made that permanent bed that you put from down the ground in my room. and had painted my small heart people of Soga praise the Lord when I talk of a heart I think you get it maybe people of Kampala don't know this let me tell you when a boy child would grow up at our place. And he made 14, 15 years. You would leave your father's house. And when you leave your father's house. You don't go to rent. You get your friends. Of same age. And they help you to build your own house. To build our house. It will take like one week to one and a half weeks. It will take like one week to one and a half weeks. You cut some poles. When you are just building your first house, there is some standard you set. There is that first one you do for the first time. You don't build one with corners. It has to be round. You first identify the place where the middle pillar is going to be put. And then you mark the point. Then you get a rope. And measure the size of the house you want. The one you can afford. If you measure and see you can make it up to this point. My God. You turn around the center point you have marked. Praise the Lord. Then you start digging holes. It takes two to three days and within a week you have a house already <inaudible> So I'd built mine already. The HM just made me miss that deal. Let's welcome our elders already here with us. Pastor, you are so welcome. Praise the Lord. When I had made my heart tidy, I've mounted to a level. I'd got my girl from primary five. She had not gone up to P7. For me, I'd finished. And just at that point, HM calls me as if he knew about what I'd go. Out so he sends me out of my village. And yet I wanted to study. But I also wanted to marry. But it was looking like I'd finished the things of studies. Because I'd already passed my primary seven. But because the HM was more powerful than me, better than me, I obeyed. But praise the Lord. 
God was rolling away the reproach of not going to school from our family. Mukama yali atandise ku rugendo lwo kukwata obwavu okuyiringisa ekivume ky'obwavu okuva mu family ye wafe. God has started had started on a journey to take away the reproach of poverty from our family. Mukama yebaziwe. Praise the Lord. Mukama bwe yakwata ku msajjo no nemaliza senior 4 nemaliza senior 6 nengende makerere story yo mpamvu nyo. When God touched this man and I went through all level I went up to makerere the story is long. Na yo lwalero bwe netunulira. Today when I look at myself in the situation in which I was born, in the situation in which I grew and the situation the parents left us in, the hunger that we went through and the kind of adultery and fornication that was in our family. And I look at myself where I am today. God can rotate away, take away the reproach. God can roll away the reproach. What? My parents were running uh, a bar, and so we grew up in such a situation, such a life. We were tamid the Tomaniani, a Susanani, a near Sulanani, a near Dinani, but Animuzadewani, Animuana, Anim Quegambang Beira, Yuna, ya total confusion. And when they would get drunk, you would not be able to differentiate between father, mother, whose wife, it was total confusion. And when they died, Tuakabanyu. We cried the Lord. Because we were still young. But we would understand some things. Because I was the manager of the bar. My young brother was the one who would look for the alcohol around the village. Our parents were the investors so they would just come to balance the books and take the money that we had made. We had money. By 12 years, we had learned everything, how to make the alcohol, how to ferment, and do everything. We knew each and everything. I don't remember my father telling me you cannot take alcohol. But I remember one time I was beaten for going to a crusade. It was part of taking alcohol in my home, in my family was normal. It was like taking porridge, tea, or juice, something like that. We would always be drunk and you would see everything as if it is moving around you. I didn't know that I would be drunk. You would wake up in the morning. It's you that knew what o, to start o, with. There is that kind of alcohol that is so concentrated it can even catch fire when you light it. And then there are those other ones that are dangerous. And there was those, that local brew or alcohol, whatever, it was your choice to see what you start with. When you were so hungry, there was some local brew that was supposed to be made ready the following day, but before that it would work like porridge. They will tell you to go and get at least a cup such that you don't go hungry. That kind of reproach in our family. Today, in my family, no one is going to be alcoholic. No one is going to be sexually immoral. No one is going to be drunk. That reproach was stopped, it ended. Praise the Lord. It will never happen again. If I drink, it ended, it stopped. If I've ever fornicated, 
that one ended Chiyakuma. it ended stopped that reproach will never be back in my life Joshua, in the book of Joshua so you can number 5 9 chapter 5 and verses 9 esule yokutanu no mkama gamba today have taken away the shame from your people ntyolwa lero nzijewe chivume ku bantu bo have taken away shame agambye mu Luganda yesu esule yokutanu nyolwa omwenda mukama na agamba yesu anti lero njiringisiza echivume che misiri okuchiba jako that reproach from Egypt. Praise the Lord. When we speak about sexual immorality, to someone who has never gotten born again, it is normal. But to you as a Christian, that reproach is not supposed to be in our midst. Amen. Amen. Today it has been rolled. There are wounds that will come in once you become sexually immoral or open the door for sexual immorality. No once you open that door as an individual. You may not know the weight of the sorrow and the pain that you're going to go through as a family, but you will have opened that door. You may die as an individual. But the fruits of what you did will be much more painful and so sorrowful to those that you live. Sister Wang Adaku Anzira Kumlinga Gwakusatu. One of my sisters that follows me. Yagula wo lujiru wins. Open the door for sexual immorality. Na yogeda na ye. I spoke to her. Emirundi ejiwira. Nga kose vigambo ebi ebiokusomesa. A number of times using words that kind of teach. And I reached the level and was looking as if my words were very weak. And so I convinced her to come and join the church where I was praying. And she met the pastors. And she told me, your church is boring. And I knew she needed another level. I started allowing her to visit me. And whenever I would get an opportunity, whenever she would visit, I tried to use heavy words in a way to convince her and teach her and show her how bad what she was doing. At that time, she had one child. And I was asking her, who is the father of the child? She would say, mine is a long story, Conrad, please leave me. And I asked more, who is the father of the child? That's such that we can get to know them. One, he told my young brother, that Conrad is asking about the father of the child, but for me, I don't even know the father of the child. Tell him to give up on everything. But it was said around us, it was said that she was kind of carrying out prostitution. You don't know how painful it is for someone to come and tell you, I saw your sister. In such and such a place. I saw her at church the other day. I saw her the other place. If you want to be sure, please. Sometimes you don't want to believe it is true, but when that's actually the truth. And I talked to her. And until when it came to a time where she was so much lost 
and she was infected attacked by sickness nengeza kuba mutwale mu maluwali ogo nage ndogoza gasobola kumuyamba na inga ye cha ye nyo i tried to take her to all kind of hospitals where she could get help but she had even hated her own self bino ye bigambo bibyangamba these were some of her words that she told me ma konad wageza ko kunti satisa konad you try to threaten me na lobo za anti onti satisa and i thought you were threatening me naye buno bulamu buno bulwadde buluma but this disease this sickness is so painful nenze gwagamba but the person was telling na fumiti wada ne mpisaze had already been pierced by her kind of behavior we are talking of kufa by the time she died ngalina abana omwana mulalo wokubiri she had given birth to another child ngalina abana babiri and so she had two besimanyi bazade babwe whose fathers i did not know ye kenyini obulamu bugenze her life had already gone omwana omukubbo one of those children ngana yali mu mbera ngati tumanyo bacheza obanda kisi was in a situation where you would see you not made him make it through the night omwana abonye ebonye he had suffered ono mutogwe balika the young one that left mu bintu byatamanyi nako in things that she did not know mama yagula wo lujiruo bwenzi mu bulamu bwe the mother had opened the door of sexual immorality ye awumude and for her she is gone nino mwana kati aweze emyaka ndoza mukaga i have the child is now making 6 years ali kudagala but on medicine ali mu top class kati in top class right now lumu yambuza one time he asked me nzengenda kumire dagala pakadi for how long am i going to be on treatment on on medicine bisere byonga ngawaliwo abana bafuna kofwe waka at that time that been attacked by cough at home netuleta netuba bonale tubateka kudagala buli omuna mira this dagali ya ya infections buli omu and we bought tablets medicine for all of them and we gave gwe dozye gwancha gwe dozye gwalero gwe nena jana eh kati nze yange gwa code and each one had a time when he was supposed to take that medicine but he also came and asked up to when will i end mine ne tumuyiya tugamba gwe olina musayi mutono olina kumire dagala musayi gwe enti eh na asanyuka naita genda icho tichike na mukoda miyaka jonna and we had to tell him uh, for you have little blood so you have to take medicine for a bit longer but still that one cannot work for too long buli mwezi tumutwala mu review mudwaliro every month we take him to hospital for review mwezi gwedi ali aganyi Last month he had refused. Nagamba nange nyagala kusonga nange bagenda kole buzo ngaze siri wo lwachi zengenda mudwa lero bulidu naku. And he was saying for me I want to go to school I don't want to go to hospital I'm going to miss exams. Ye buli mwezi mu bwongobe bulinga bulidu naku. Every month to him it looks like it's every day. Ono mwana bona bona chi. Why is this child suffering? Mama yagula wo lujiru wo bwenzi mvula muwi. The mother opened the door of sexual immorality. Mwana yali ne chiwundo kati olwa lero. So this child has a wound. Ali kudagala is on medicine. Naye mukama mulunji ntidagali kola. But God is good, it is working for him. Ali kabulunji. He looks good. Asoma bulunji. And he's studying well. Ali abulunji. It's well. Naye what is sin is she paying for? Naye ro chicha asasulira, chibichi cha asasulira. Kiriza mukama yiringise chivume echo bwenzo kuba mu family ye uwamwe. Allow God to roll away the reproach of sexual immorality from your family. Ndabye fesi yone yo bwenzi wansi wenjuba Ndabye obwenzi buluma I've seen how painful sexual immorality is Ndabye bogula wo lujiro obwenzi ndabye amaziga I've seen the tears that come when one opens the door for sexual immorality Na laba tata bwe yafa yafanga tafana nikatata I saw how my father died in a way that you could not imagine in a very bad way Mama yagenda kufanga atisa Our mother died in a way that would threaten frighten Sister wange yagenda kufanga ebitundu bye bye gasse My sister died when some parts had joined up Tacha asobola kutula bwat and would not be able to even see it Ebigera biteka wano bwat and would open Nayenge ebiwundu echiwundu cha mulya ne chimugata wansi eyo but she had a very bad wound Chiche chimutusiza what brought her to that level yagula wo luji olwe chivume chobwenzi ne chingira mu bulamu bwe she opened the door 
for sexual immorality to enter her life. Praise the Lord. Joshua gambia mukama alera agenda kuyiringise chivume cha misiri masaketi gafu. Galeme tuleme kuulira ko na tembo masaketi gafu waliwe chivume cho echa misiri echikolerawo. Joshua says God is going to roll away the reproach of Egypt from our life such that does not work in our midst. Wali was standing wa kuleka no sobola kubera ngo tendereza oyimba osaba owereza obulira na yenga kutaddeko emiguwa je akulina ko control there are times when Satan allows you to come in church and praise worship and minister but when he has strings attached to you nganinga gamba genda na eto genda wala and it's like you can go and do those other things but you won't go far nganinga gamba yimba na eto yimba nyo it's like you go and praise but don't praise so much nganinga gamba buda na eto bulira nyo he's saying preach but have a limit nganinga gamba chawo gwenza eto buchawa nyo he says ha Hate sexual immorality, but not so much. It's my prayer for you today. That at every point where you've been careless, that at every point of weakness in your life, at every point where there has been an open door, that today God will roll away the reproach. That you will be free in Jesus' name. Muzefania. In Zephaniah. Sureyo kubiri niyoro mnana. Chapter 2 and verse 8. Paka kumina rumu. Up to 11. Agama, aire, acha hiri ingisa. Eche chivu mechini masekati gafi. He says he's still rolling away the reproach in our midst. Eche chivu mechini masekati gafi. That the reproach in our midst. Eje vita agana na kuhuri kikevi yo. Those things that you don't even want to hear of or cannot be even heard of. There's a level you reach. When there's something you're going through. When it's only you that knows about it. When the pain that is inside of you. You can no longer control. Praise the Lord. In the book of Psalms. 118 and verse 5. There is something he said. I made prayers to the Lord. In my troubles. Amen. That's my prayer for you today. That's my prayer and my wish for you today. That in that situation in which you are, call upon the Lord. He's going to take you to a bigger place. When you get there, please be faithful in that big place. Friends, God can change situations. Just like you can see books. That it has first chapter and the next chapter and others. And yet whatever is in each chapter is different. Even our lives are like that. There is a time that is not enjoyable. But when you are going to go through it. And then there is a time that is good. When God has put you in a large place. It's my prayer that God closes the chapter of tears. That the chapter that has had pain. The chapter that has had crying. That God will take you Amen. to a chapter where That something will. That someone will. Whatever was looking as if it's too far comes close to you. Such that the choice is yours of what to take and what to leave. In Psalm 34 and verse 4, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Mukutia kwa angeko na bamba biti sabi yonza. Zabuli asatu mu nyolo kuna. Yesebo. Na nonya mukama na nziram. Na ndokola 
Mukutia kwange kona. Mukutia kwange kona. In all my fears. Walu obera mu family. There's a time when you are in a family. Niwe no no laba jajjawo. And you look at your grandparent. No kubato chikutatao. And you also look at your father. No laba And then you look at your relatives. No laba And you also look at the brothers around you. No And you also look at your life. Magamba wanatiwaya sabolo kuvamu mbeirangino. And you believe and say no one can leave this situation. But let me promise you. If you call upon the most high. He is going to change all your history. <laughs> he changes history. I've ever slept hungry. Not once, not twice, but for days. It was the order of life. I've ever been sent out of a house. I will, not, I will never forget the house where I stayed. It was for a drunkard. I entered his house when I didn't have enough money. And actually I found him drunk. And told him if you will want my house, I want three months payment. Every month was supposed to be 20. It was 20,000 per month. But I had only 15,000. And I told him, landlord, tomorrow, let me give you this. Tomorrow, I'll give you the balance. And he told me, if you don't give me the money, I will throw you out. Like he was joking in his drunkenness. I had 15,000. I gave him the money and slept in the house that day. It was a house. You, call, you would call it a house. You would put a bed. The only space you would be left with was that one under the bed. And everything. That so one is The plates, the saucepans, basins, and everything would go under the bed. If you were outside and you wanted to enter the house, you would have to jump up to the bed. Praise the Lord, brethren. I've come from far. This man came back the following day. He, he came him. with three others. He was the fourth. As, and I was asking, is this boy here? Where is my money? And I tried to give him excuses, but he said, you told me drunk but you would remember every promise that you had made. And he told me if you don't have money people want this house please take out your belongings out of your right now. As I tried to excuse myself he told one of those people he had come with please take out the bed. Don't, don't pour his food. They will eat from outside. But let all his property go out. I looked at the men when they were taking out my property. My clothes. And I felt so sorrowful. And I said, Lord. Even if I'm still renting. Get me a bigger place, Lord. I had so many tears for a number of reasons. The place was small. I'd been ashamed and many things. Where I'm residing today. I've not yet built. 
but I can get into my bedroom and I go to the room for the girls and I go to another room for the boys and I go to the garage and we also come to the sitting room and sit down and pray and say we thank the Lord. I called upon the Lord in my time of sorrow and he answered and took away the fear that was in my heart. Praise the Lord. What you are going through the wisdom that I give you don't cry to people. Please get on your knees. Go and pray. Do something please. The people you are crying to have their own problems. They have their own issues. You can also pray. In Matthew 11 from 20. He says, come to me, all those that are heavy laden. Those that are tired and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Amen. Amen. What has made you tired? What has made you worried? What is so heavy upon you? He's going to give you rest. He gives rest to those that are weary. God can make you rest. In brief, when you deal with the wound that is in your heart, when you touch the pain that is inside your heart, when you confront the reproach that is in your life, do the following briefly. First, Pray without ceasing. Saba obutakoa. And work without getting tired. Atoko lenyo obutakoa. Now, chino chetegeza. This is what I mean. Pray without ceasing. Saba obutakoa. And work without getting weary. Atoko le obutakoa. Mwane wali ya chizibu. That's where we have a problem. Into wudia embeda jo itamo jimanyi. You know the kind of situation you are going through. You hate that life. You feel tired. You feel heavy burden. And you say let me go to church and offer myself. You're still alive. You need the food. You need to dress. You need everything. Those that you think are going to help you also have their problems. As you pray, work. Kola. Work. Kola. Whether you make chapatis, whatever you're selling, or you can sell. Or you can begin up a restaurant and prepare tea. There must be something that you do after you have prayed. When you pray not and you do not work, you are like a person that washes their hands and then you dirt in them again and walk with your hands. There is no level you are going to go to. That's the mistake that we always make. Some God is not a magician. We are not a magician. We are not a magician. We are a magician. If God was a magician, Katonda singa yali mukozi wa bintu bwe tugenda kola Katonda simufusa chava tugamba tugende tukole Agoberere nonoze He follows his principles Yagamba na wange milimo jenga lozo He says I will bless the work of your hands Kati singo mukisa gubinda binda wano So if there is a blessing coming here Ukola chi What do you do Okay, I want God to multiply your prayers by a hundred. 
Some, one time I went to fellowship and I said I want God to multiply your prayers by a hundred. And everybody said it. Likewise, I want God to multiply your income by a hundred. We are not going to be able to do that. We are not going to be able to do that. Spiritually, we look as if we are good. We are not going to be able to but physically we are bad laws. When we got the people that we think are well off. And they don't give us. We speak bad about them. But when they have something to do. The person you think is well off. That's your thinking. Is also bad law somewhere. What they have. What they have is only enough for him to provide for his needs. The only difference is this. For you need breakfast for 1,000. For you need breakfast for 150,000. That's the only difference. For you to move from here to Kampala, you need 8,000. For him in his because he's driving and that's but you all have needs. You want him to live his kind of life. And he comes to your level. Such that he spares something. And but why does he give to you? Where have you come from? You have been sleeping somewhere. Praise the Lord. Do I have some friends in Jinja? Let us wake up. We go and line up at the offices of our pastors. And we give them a problem. Sometimes they even hide from us. Because they know what you want from them. You come with a blanket and say please pray for me. But you're hiding in something. You're saying pray for me but you're hiding somewhere. They have sent us out of the house, but please pray for me. We didn't have supper, but please, Pastor, pray for me. There are times where a prayer cannot work. When you are so hungry, the prayer will not work. When they have sent you out of the house, the prayer will not be enough. When they have sent your child away from school for fees, the prayer alone will not be enough. It is money that will work there. You don't just ask for money. We work to get the money. Many times that's where the wounds come from. Pastors these days don't care. I have a problem. My pastor does not even pay attention to me. Many times they have sent us out of the house. We don't have fees. For me, I'm an administrator. I have three children of mine. Two are schooling. The one I've been talking about is also schooling. This I got some too from my brothers and they are also schooling. There are those that I support, they are also schooling. When I put in a coat, you may think I have money in my coat. So when you come and say, please also give me. The one you are asking from also needs a sponsor. And you want him to sponsor you. You are also making the wound bigger. It is you that is wounding yourself. When you are healed of your wound. Please make sure there is something that you do with your hands every day. I want to warn all those that are in the offices. The guy doesn't pay me properly. I even want to leave that job. I actually mean, you know, like, I no longer feel like a working. Stay warned. I want to warn all those that are in the 
You come and spend the night in the overnight and go and sleep and doze in the office as an employee. Respect your job. Respect your source of income. Respect your supervisor. Don't look at her by height, by, by color, by size, by dressing. Because your supervisor will not be able to get her. I had my supervisor. Na inge ndavika e chizibo muwe chitiwa. Ngo jieke chobu mpi. Besides being short. Mutono. Is thin. Ngo jieke chobu tono. Besides being thin. Ayamba la vimpi. Dresses poorly. Na inge mchitiwa che. But in his honor. Ye supervisor wange. Was my supervisor. Lumu ya nkwata leti. One time he got me late. Lumu ya nkwata leti. Lumu ya nkwata that's when I knew that is my supervisor. He said, Corner, let us have a I was ministering a lot at church, on radio, at work. And I reached five minutes late at work. They told me to write a warning letter for three months. Do you know our policy here? He was smiling but saying this is the policy in our place. I've sent some work in the printer. They're going to pick a copy. Nina Balua Genta Deri Jevata Ping Ragenda Yof Neo Copio. Then Okulabaloza Balaya Kwebas and a warning letter. When I went to get that letter, it was a warning letter. Nenga mpa warning letter, singa bampa chance. So look mustra wenti nemu nemu quicka manga musobo la bulunji. But the person that was giving me a warning letter was tiny. Was the person I would do anything to. But he was my supervisor. Just facial expression that you are undermining her. If you have been despising your boss. Because you are so prayerful and so spiritual. When you are sent away from that work. Prayer will become even harder. Isn't it you that wants to fast? Fasting is good when you have food. But when there is no food. There will be no timetable for fasting. Sometimes you may be fasting and someone comes with a jackfruit, but because you are not sure whether you'll get supper and you didn't get supper the previous day, you'll have to take it because so, you have no timetable. Point is okay, but they pray and seizing and work without getting weary. Point is okay, gamba sabo buta kowa ato kolenyo ero buta kowa. Eyo kubiri ngambi exchange the status quo. Eyo kubiri. Chusa embera yo. Eya buli jo. Chusa embera ye ya buli jo. Chusa embe. You cannot do something new if you are doing ordinary things always. Toso wala kubera kona chipia chokola. Nge bintu wabikola mungeri joba do wikola mubuli jo. Bubango uline mirimo eji kuwa mitualo kumi. If you are employed where you can make a hundred thousand shillings. Yiyo labeti wali wa mutualo kumu. Wali wa mkudu kumi joe ingiza mueri endala buliru naku. Change the status quo. Try to see that you create some other thing where you can get more money. Change your situation. Try new ventures. Geza ake mirimo emirala. Diversify the income. Kole vintu ebi wera konga vyo nabi ingiza joli. But pray without ceasing. Na ya atos galengo osaba obuta koa. The third approach. Engeri ya yoku satu. Bare your old nature and forget the past. Zika evi intu vyo vyo nevi yema vegevi kade vyo nabi yejeko. Lumu musumba ya ngoba muwa ofani. One time pastor sent away from that thing of saying I'm an ofani. Nalina kubagiza. I, I, I was. Bambi zendi muavu kumanga tata yafa. Embera zendi musinga mama yaliwo. Banangi singa siringa wengine wano. 
I would plead and say and give excuses that I would be better if my father had not died so Yeah, ali kuchuli na gamba, wobo weze miaka 18 inkugobye mu bwa orphan mbukugobye mu bwa mulekwa to shali mulekwa. Oli musaja mukuru, oli mushala mukuru. One time he stood on the pulpit and said, if you have made 18 years, please you are an adult, you are grown up, you don't consider yourself an orphan anymore. Kwolo yali tough. Yali mukambo enyo kwolo. And I also said bye bye. I'm no longer an orphan. I'm responsible for my state. If my income is the way it is, it is my responsibility. My father gave birth to me. Took me up to where I could. And others took me up to where I'd reached. By 18 years. I'm an adult. By 18 years. You are an adult. You are a big woman, you are a big man. Oli musajja munene, oli mukazi munene mukuru. Ogena ushale ya mama, unu ya gala kuwe transporting o koma o. No, take for something. Not that to give you transport going back. You a big woman, you a big man. Ochale de mama, oba tata o, na yato ya gala kuwe transport. Nedda, oli mukuru, gwa ino kwa ngwe inacho mtu wali. Bare, you are past. Zika, evi nitu vyo vyo na, evi kate vye mabega. Jomu sumetu kembe, ziko mulambo guo. Bare, yo cops. Ama nitu vafa, tu vazika, nitu veda vila, nitu kenda maso. When people die, we bury them and forget about them and we move into the future. But if you put that person there, no sgalango, mujju kirabuli kasera. He's not responsible. You'll reach a time, otandiko kawa, ngo kawa, utechira gabu ntu wavu nanyi ziwa. Bare and forget your past. God is doing a new thing. Isaiah 43.19 add value in yourself. You're not going to be healed of your wound. When you have no value. I like the way my pastor speaks. He ended in P6. He ended in P6. He ended in P6. He's free. He's okay. Na ya chogera anga, ali free inga, timo bubi. He has a value in himself. Awuli ranga wa muwendo, awuli ranga wa muwendo, munda muye. Mu P6. From P6. Yaka wandike mitabu munana. Eight copies, eight books. He's the author of eight books. Graduate. Graduate yon. Graduate. Asha atandika chapter isoka. He's still beginning the first chapter. Abali ya baba andika mkama yebaziwe. Ngane nga baba gureli tabasinga. Those who are here and you have written some books. Bali nevi tabo biyabe mubuongo. They have their books but in the brain. Nja kuandika ya katabo nze. I'll write a book. Nze. Olimu nja kuandika ya ibitabo nze. I'm going to write some books. Nze nja kuandika nze nja kuwela muandisi nze. I will be a writer. Mkama mulunji yebaziwe. Praise the Lord. Lastly, increase your savings and invest. Echidala, yongeza. Kubintu biyo sobolo kutunda, biyo tunda, biyo savinga. Mukwe yongeza mu value. If you are adding value to yourself. Uyizu mta dayo kusoma no gamba katika nzire mu P5. Kansome, nzire mu sini ya wano. Neda. It may not need for you to go back to P5 and study again. Iga ye chipia, che chitambulo uruwa liru. But learn something. What is selling today? People have been creative. They are using bananas, drying them, preserving them, adding value to them and sell them in supermarkets. They make mushrooms, dry them, pack them and sell them in supermarkets. They are rearing pigs and they are making money. Which value are you adding in yourself? Praise the Lord. Let's get up on our feet, please. Amen. Amen. We are going to have a very good time, enough for prayer in the night. Please don't miss.
nesa ba mukama mukasera kano mukama ayambe obereke ebintu byokwata ku is my prayer that even at this time there are some issues that you will touch obereke ebintu mudachi kazi nezidda kontono in these next few minutes how are you going to change your status quo ogenda kuchuso otya obulamu bo embera ayo how do you need to bury your past ebiema bege bitakugasa ogenda kubiziko otya how do you add value in yourself weyongera koti omuwendo how do you increase your savings and invest weyongera koti ya kuntereka ayo ne kwezo zote ka mu business endala how do you take away roll away the reproach in your family ojawo te chivume echiri ku family ye wa moyo which kind of thorns are around you in your heart in your life Magwachi agakwetoloda agali mbula muwe na aba abakwetoloda mudachi kanto tugereko ne mukama in a few minutes please let's speak to the lord eche chigwa eche chivume chibade mu family eche chindu eche bade chikulemesa chobade wewe kwasa kuno gama chino eche chine mesa chinza mabega that area iyo area jo tugereko ne mukama mudachi kazi nezidako whatever you see that has been holding you back please put it before the lord in these few minutes we have nimusa ko dobozili ayi mukama tuze masogo Tuagalo kuweba za kubango tukoze bulungi. Yesu tuzenga abana. Wagamba mu kigambo cyo tifena abakoye era abazitoweredwa. Tujejoli ono tuwumuza. Mukama tuze. Tuyize binji wikeno. Tuagala ntandi kwa mpya aye chitafe. Tubadde tuzenyo mabega. Mukama nga tuzikwate ku kintu kimu. Nenge bisigade bidema. Cheba kokole linyalyo aye chitafe. Vera we chipya cyo nokola mbola mu bwafe. Wabere we chipya cyo notutera wo. Tuagala kubera nga tweteka mu value feka. Naye mukama ya masuga feka linga gawambidwa. Walinga tulinga abasive. Gula wa magezi gafe. Gula wo kutegera kwa fe. Tuli bakuru, tuli tukuze. Naye tweita bamulekwa. Naye saba aye chitafe. Ojewe che chivume che twe kwata ke chobo omulekwa mukama olwalero bera ko mtu gwono yanukula olwalero wabere wana salawo olwalero wabere wana kula kulana wabere wana yimuka agambeze nkoye mbera mwendi agambeze nkoye mfuna yange agambeze family ya fetesa nyusa asale waso bolo kutambula anonya masogo mukama na ono mwanu kula na ono musembeza chiori na ono musembeza no mukwata ku mukono ono musindikiriza muri nyali ya Yesu wali waba kobola wali waba mba mukama nsaze wontambule nawe na yenge chibale mesa efuna yawe baza mabega ye chibale mesa obulamu baza mabega ye chibale mesa babade ne chivume nga cha misiri nge che chivume che chibale mesa olwalero e che chivume tuchiyiringisa muri nyali ya Yesu ababade chivume cho bwenzi ababade chivume cho butamivu ababade chivume nga cha bwavu ababade chivume cha bulichika bulisunga bulichika che chivume muri ngali ya Yesu ndabye ngo yamba family ye wafe mukama nyambye ngo nyamba mukama ndabye ngo nsembeza ndabye ngo mpanguza awabade chivume cho bwenzi awabade obutamivu awabade okudama bega mukama ozondokola nompa family ozondokola nompa kanisa ozondokola nompa musumba ozondokola nompa bandabirira mukweche bansaba wabere wabono kwada ku mukono abade batayaya abade batambula ngatabanawe batandika tibanawe bakoma bera ko bono yamba muri nyali ya Yesu abadalo ozanti muwavu mukama gwono mufulo mugaga ogambe mu chigambo cho okole chitwe chipya mu bulamu bwafe yongera yongera yo obere obono yamba yongera yongera yo wabere abana sembezebwa yongera yongera ko wabere obono kwata ku mukono gwono lage kubo mukama bono cha mu bwavu mukama bono cha mu fufu obatuze nabalangira Vase wano lwalero na yeba kina kubaya no bujulizi mukama linyi so mutindo kwabwe bongere mu valiu muri nyali ya Yesu we milimo jengalo zabwo mukisa balabo kuganja ku musi abalamu muri nyali ya Yesu abada nyome wa mu family ye wawe abada ziwe mabega abada labi kwango muna kwenyo muri nyali ya Yesu ono muyimusa ono jebi gerebye mababa de tositosi ono mulago bulunji bwo ne musi ene yabalamu mukama nkweba zizoli mwesigwa Nechilo chorale mukama twagala koma wo ngo tuwe checho kusaba ne program eda ko mukama jonga mikono jo tie saba ichitafe wabere wo gono sisinkana wabere wana yambibwa wabere wana lokoka wabere wana chawo obulamu bwabademu wabere wana chawo ekibi wabere wana chawo embera chabademu basindikirize masoko tukomye unate tulago bulungi bo musene yabalamu nkwe baziza 
mulinya ilia yesu kubira ko mukame ngalonga tumwebaza let's give god a clap as we thank him